Here at home, a Tucson rabbi leaves for New York tonight where he will gather with other rabbis from around the world as they try to find solutions to keeping synagogues safe. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink spoke with the rabbi and has the story. It's new at 10. Inside this Midtown synagogue, Rabbi Yehuda Saitlin and his staff just put up a metal door in response to the Pittsburgh shooting. He heads to Brooklyn for a security conference starting Thursday with thousands of other rabbis, including ones from Pittsburgh. We're going to bring them a message of hope and warmth from the Tucson Jewish community and the Tucson community at large. This rabbi was inside this sanctuary on Saturday when he learned of the attack. Like a punch in the gut. Literally a punch in the gut. A punch in the gut. Punch in the gut. Because you hear of people who, on the holiest day of the week, in the holiest spot, if you will, like a synagogue, uh, practicing their faith, not doing anything wrong, and just outright being attacked for what they stand for, what they believe in. It was really hurting. In the hours after the massacre, President Trump suggested an armed guard may have been able to stop the rampage. It's a prospect that frightens Satan. Synagogue is seen as our second home. I do not want to see the day that we are required to have armed security in order to feel comfortable in, uh, in our houses Regardless. of prayer. And as he prepares notes, Saitlin says he keeps coming back to the same message. We have to see the entire human race as equal, that we are all one in the eyes of God. When faced with such tragedy and hate, we have to simply dial up the love, the care, the positivity. And Saitlin is one of five rabbis going to New York from southern Arizona. The conference will bring together almost 6,000 rabbis from all 50 states and 100 countries from around the world. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.